Hi, my name is Patrick. I'm with Falcon Sales and I'm going to show you how to install a Falcon Sail on your kayak. Um, before you get started, you're going to have to know about the basic tools that you're going to need. In this case, you'll need a drill, drill bits, a marker, a lighter, a tape measure, a socket set, maybe some wrenches will make things a little easier, a knife, a screwdriver, a ruler, and a hacksaw. And today we'll be installing a sail on a uh, 10 foot long plastic roto molded uh, recreational kayak. It's a basic kayak. Um, the install for this boat will be very similar to what it would be on any other kayak. You can install a Falcon sail on a plastic boat, a wood boat, a fiberglass boat. It could be a recreational kayak. It could be a sit on top kayak. Be a sea kayak, it could even be a canoe. Any type of paddle craft is very easy to install a Falcon sail on. Um, now I keep going here. When you order a Falcon sail, it'll come in a box like this. Everything you need will be inside this box your sail, your mass, your boom. All your lines, the cleats, fittings, everything. The only thing you'll need to get this thing rigged on your boat are these basic tools, so everything is included. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and open up the box. And you'll see how nicely everything's packed in here. Here is the uh, bag full of miscellaneous parts, neatly organized. Everything's very nicely labeled. Okay, and here are the instructions. And let's see here. A bag that comes with the sail, which is very nice to have. And this is the sail itself. Okay. And this is the uh, deck plate and the deck support strut, which is very important. This is a three-piece carbon fiber mast. And here is a two-piece carbon fiber boom. And that's what comes with your kit. All right, now I'm going to go over the uh, core uh, main parts of the sail, or your sail rig. Now I have here the deck plate with the deck support strut, and this is what your sail will attach to on your boat, and this will support the deck of your boat. It's very important for a nice solid rig. It's our patented uh, kick-up deck plate here. Okay, that's the first item. The next item is the two-piece carbon fiber boom. Uh, this is very important for making a sail rig that can give you as much power as possible and control uh, to make it a proper sail. And it's two pieces so you can break it down and, and fit it in wherever you need to. Okay, it's carbon fiber, it's very strong and lightweight. And here is our three-piece mast. Now, one of the very important parts of this three-piece mast is the uh, our patented universal joint. This is really important. It, this is what makes for a very solid rig and a sail that you can lower very easily. And it's just very precise and very well done. And lastly is our uh, the sail that will come with your sail rig. And it's still in the bag, but here it is. And next, I'm going to go ahead and start showing you how to install this thing on your boat. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and put the mast and boom on the sail. And it's very simple. You can just grab either one of the two piece, top pieces and stick them, put them together. And put them in the mast pocket like that. And then the next step would be to take the boom and assemble that. And that goes together like this. It's very obvious which pieces are the boom. And then here's the bottom of the mast. 
Uh, the instructions go over this in detail, so if you have any questions, you can refer to that. And there we go. So now, I'm going to just go ahead and put the button on these mast pocket so that it's completely on. And over here, at the end of the boom, I'll put the outhaul line on, which goes on this outhaul cleat. It's very simple. And now, you can see... Oops. Let's go ahead and put that back in there. Get that clean in there all the way, but here we go. You see, the wind is catching the sail. Now, there you go. Okay, now we're going to talk about setting the foundation for your sail rig. And that would be this deck plate uh, and uh, deck support uh, strut assembly. Uh, the deck plate will go on the deck of your boat and then the deck of your boat will go in between these two pieces and then here's the under deck plate okay so the deck of your boat gets sandwiched between these two aluminum pieces and then attached to that is the deck support strut and this is what makes the deck of your boat very solid and that will go on the inside of your boat this is a patented uh, assembly here that we have that really makes a very nice difference for making your rig very solid and very easy to manage. I'm going to go ahead and take this uh, assembly apart and you'll, we'll show you how we decide exactly where to install the deck plate. Remove the screws from the uh, deck plate and deck support strut assembly so now it's in separate pieces. This is the deck plate. This goes on the outside of the boat, okay, somewhere about here. And the uh, deck support strut assembly goes on the inside of the boat. Okay, but we'll take care of that later. Right now, we need to decide exactly where this deck plate will go. The instructions talk about uh, where to install the mast. It's a very important thing, and the instructions go into a lot of detail. And in this case, it's a 10-foot long boat. And the guideline recommendation in the install instructions is to install the mast deck plate 17 inches behind the bow tip on 10 foot long boats. That is 17 inches from the bow tip to the center of the deck plate. This guideline for a 10 foot long boat is just a rule of thumb. If you need to, you can rig the mast within 8 inches of the bow tip or as far back as you'd like. go back. 17 inches is just a guideline. In this case, this boat, there's no obstruction, so we'll just go with the 17 inches. Alright, now that we have a general idea about where the, the mast will be mounted, you want to take the full mast assembly and just hold it up to the boat and just make sure it makes sense and you're not going to have any problems. Okay, in this case, I'll go ahead and hold it up. Now there's a lot of today and the sail will push hard but I can still get a good idea how things will fit on here. I'm just going to go ahead and hold it and I'll see oh yeah this works nicely it, it, will, it will in the up position all the way around it works nicely and I'll go ahead and put it into a down position of course when the sails folded like this this is about what it will be like when the sails down and I can tell right now that this is going to fit fine, but basically what you want to do is just get an idea and make sure your sail will fit nicely on your boat. Now it's kind of windy and this is a brand new sail. Go ahead and roll it up. Do something like this when you're on the water. But you just want to get a basic idea that this is going to work out and this is going to be fine. So you just want to know that and it's a good idea to play around with your sail on, in your rig on your boat just a little bit before you start drilling any holes just to make sure there's no major oversights. Alright, now that we've 
know that this deck plate is the right, or this is the right location for the deck plate, we're going to go ahead and final measure it up and get it precisely centered on the boat. Okay, we're 17 inches from the bow to the center of the deck plate. Okay, that's 17 inches from the bow tip to the center of the deck plate. Now I'll go ahead and measure and make sure that this thing is precisely just so happens to be at six inches from that side and six inches from this side so I know that I have it dead center okay next I'm gonna go ahead and just drill a hole with a 3 16 inch drill bit I've marked the spot previously and I'm just gonna go ahead and drill and go through very easily there we go and we have that hole drilled. Now I'll take one of these number 10 uh, screws or bolts that come with the kit and just get it aligned up so that the next hole we can precisely locate where it will go based on where this one's at. So there we go, we have that. And Alright, I'm going to go ahead and use that to mark the spot. I'm going to back the plate away just so I don't scrape it up. There we go. We have the second hole in. I'll take the next number 10 drill bit, or num number 10 bolt, and just thread it in there for right now. The deck plate is now basically on there. We need to put the under deck plate on now. Okay, we have the deck plate installed precisely where it belongs and it's going to stay there for good. The next thing we need to do is install the uh, deck support strut and the under deck plate. This will go inside the boat like this, something like this, and it will uh, support this deck so that it's nice and solid. So I'll go ahead and maybe turn it in this direction. And what I'll do is I'll reach in there like this and I'll come here with some screw, a screwdriver and turn these screws and then they'll catch those holes and then the deck support strut will be uh, you know, installed. And then the next step would be to cut it to length so that it's the proper length for this boat. Every boat has a different deck height so we just have to cut this to length and that's what the hacksaw is for. It's a very easy cut. You just want to cut it so that it's a somewhat of a firm fit when you push it in. It will engage and it will support the deck. Okay, you can see that the deck support strut is installed. It, it's, it's cut to length and it's engaged. The only thing left to do now is to install the uh, uh, the, the hull reinforcement patch, which is this part right here. It's a simple peel and stick uh, polymer patch that we don't need to show you how to do this. You just pull the, the, the backing off and you stick it in and then this will reinforce your hull so it's nice and strong. So that's just something you don't want to forget to do. Okay, next we're going to install the standing line anchor points. Let's see, they're in the bag of materials, and here we go. It actually has the standing lines. These, these are what support the mast. Here are the standing lines, and then here are the standing line anchor points. Every Falcon sail comes with these metal pad eyes and stainless steel uh, bolts and washers and nuts. And these are what we use to anchor the standing line ink, uh, clips here. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Okay, included with your instruction set is a uh, the deck line uh, temp template. It just tells, gives you uh, some guidelines as to where all the uh, lines go and this depicts the side stays, the back stays, and the four stay line. And what I do is take this and I'll just lay it over the 
part and I kind of I'll just feel it make sure it's lined up this is actually a two scale drawing it's it's precisely the same size as a deck plate and what I might do is take a tape measure and just make sure that everything's kind of squared up you know in this case 17 and a half inches on that side and then it's not quite squared up so I might turn it a little bit and get it so that every 17 and a quarter there and about 17 and a quarter there and I'll maybe change it just a little bit and that tells me this thing is basically lined up where it belongs. Okay here's the deck hardware template and it shows the lines where they go and in this case I've already marked things but I want you to see what I did. Uh, you can see here are the side stays and here are the back stays. Now I took the side stay uh, ank uh, lines and found the spot where it belongs on the deck and took a sharpie and just marked a little dot there and I did the same thing over here and then for the back stays I extended the lines with the straight edge and go went ahead and marked another uh, the back stays anchor point and then the other back stay anchor point right there okay now so that's done we've marked the location we'll, next we'll go ahead and drill the holes okay I wanted to make one other quick point on this boat uh, on this particular boat I decided to put the pad eyes we saw the angles which where they belonged and in this case you know I decided to move them inward a little bit because this is a wide boat and it has this ridge here that makes things solid and the point I want to make here is that every boat's a little different I mean there's no real you know precise particular way things have to be done but in this case I, I like this ridge it makes it more solid and the boats wide so we can move them in typically we'd go out real far wide but not in this case with this particular boat okay I chose a 532nd drill bit and I'm going to go ahead and drill a hole now. There's one hole. And then I can go ahead and with that particular size drill bit, it's a nice firm fit. And that will allow me, once I have one in there, I can use that to align the next hole. the next one in. Oops. There we go. I can put the screws in if I had a, my, a driver bit and my drill I could do this a little quicker but this isn't too bad. There's one. And the other one's tightened. We'll go on the inside and put the uh, washers and the nuts on and it will be a very solid anchor point for the side stay. And then we'll go ahead and do that for all four of the, uh, or the two back stay anchor points and the two side stay anchor points, which will go here. And we'll show you that in just a minute. Okay, now we have the standing line anchor points installed and they're done. The next step is to uh, decide where to install the cleats. You have a four-stay cleat and a sheet line cleat, and we need to decide where to install them. I'm going to go ahead and sit in the boat now because it's just kind of nice to get an idea how things are going to work out inside your boat. You want things to be within easy reaching distance, so you just think about where do I want to grab these lines. And in this case, I've thought about it, and I decided that the uh, sheet line, this is the line that's used the, to control the boom, the cleat would go here because I can easily reach it while I'm sitting in the boat. And then the other cleat that we need to install is the four stay cleat and that comes in with the bag with a s set of extra Here's instruments. where I think the four stay cleat should go and this is kind of nice too. Uh, but basically in a nutshell, you just want to think about what would be convenient for what you want to do. And the instructions talk a little bit about it, but you just want to think about where you're going to install the cleats and, while you're sitting in the boat so that you'll put it in a place that you'll like. So just wanted to mention that to you. 
Okay, we've installed the sheet line cleat and the four stake cleat. And while we're at it, we went ahead and put the this fair lead in here, which is in, uh, they t it's talked about in some detail in the instructions. It's simple, but that's another thing we did while we were at it. And now we're going to go ahead and put the four stay uh, pulley on the boat and attach it. Now there's several ways you can attach this pulley. It's just a little pulley here. It's really nice, high quality Dalrin pulley. And this is the, the line that feeds the four stay that pulls the sail, the mast up. You can either A, just tie it on to some attachment on the front of your boat. And if you don't have an attachment to tie it to, you could use this pad eye that we include and the rivets. These are really nice, solid rivets. You might have to drill those out, but these rivets go in and you can solidly attach that to your bow. But my favorite method, and it works well on this boat, is to go ahead and drill a hole from the through the bow tip from you know port to starboard. And I'll go ahead and do that now. It's really a nice thing to do. And this will give you a great way to attach your line. It's perfect. So there we go. That line, the hole's there. I'm going to untie this line. Just run it through here. Hopefully it goes feeds through there easily. Okay, there we go. And then I'll go ahead and uh, tie one of my favorite knots in there. This is a, if you go to falconsales.com slash knots, you'll see this knot in there. I won't go into too much detail. And, but you just, you do an overhand knot and then you follow the line through and tighten it up. But you continue to tighten it up. You feed the lines through until it's really in there tight. I won't do that. In detail right now but you can see you just keep tightening it eventually this knot just gets so tight and it will never come off in the end we'll trim the ends of these lines off but this type of over this type of knot will never come undone and if you go to falconsales.com slash knots you'll see this knot it's a common knot and it's easy to do so that's how I attach the bow uh, pulley to this boat you could attach it to something like this or you could rivet it on but this is my favorite way to do it okay uh, off camera we went ahead and installed our sail tie down kits now this is something that is talked about in detail in the instructions in every boat's a little different but every sail kit comes with one of these pad eyes here uh, two of these um, shot cords and some lashing hooks. In this case, um, I just kind of size things up where I like the sail in the down position. It's in the down position now and it's lashed down using the lashing kit one with these two shot cords and then this hook. And it's just something that you kind of work out. You work this out based on each boat. Every boat's different. A lot of the sea kayaks are very much the same, but these uh, recreational kayaks, it just depends on how the deck lays out. But this is very simple and it's not very hard. You just have to experiment a little bit. And I put one on here and it just so happens to show that on this boat, it, it just so happens one of these lashing cords worked really nice on the seat and on an existing uh, cleat. It doesn't have to be anything special, but it always works out. You just have to work it out. And this is how I uh, did the tie down kit on this boat and it worked out real nice. Okay, now that we have all the uh, fittings and the hardware attached to the boat, one of the last steps we need to work on is adjusting the side stay and back stay lengths. As you can see, they're not going to hold the sail up right now. They need to be adjusted to the proper length. Each boat geometry is a little bit different. And these are pretty darn easy to adjust. But they all have to be adjusted. And when they're adjusted precisely and correctly, combined with the solid uh, foundation that we have with the deck support strut and all the other hardware, this thing's going to be really solid. 
but first we need to get these things adjusted. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to adjust one of the lines and then we'll go from there. But the, the instructions talk in detail about the proper adjustment of the stay lines. It's not hard to do, but you know, it takes a little while. And I'm going to go ahead and adjust one of these lines. These are special knots and they're really nice because once you adjust them, that's it. They'll stay good forever. But I'm going to go ahead and shorten this. It obviously needs to be shorter, so I'm going to go ahead and, and shorten this one up. And you can see the, uh, the, the side stay is about the right length, but not quite. Now, it's not quite that easy. I'm going to go ahead and shorten that one up. And you can see. Now, I'm going to go over to the other side stay and shorten that one up. I'm going to detach the back stay lines because you want to just do the front or the sides at the same time only. So I'll go ahead and shorten up this one. And here we go. Bring it down a little bit more. And you can see now that it's starting to get to be, you know, where it's almost holding this mast up. But I'll go ahead and tighten it up just a little bit more. And now you can see as I raise the mass, it's actually getting tight. It's not quite there yet. You don't want to go too tight, but you can see it's getting tight. I'll go ahead and tighten up the other side. And let's go back up with it and see now it's getting to be really tight. Now that it's tight and you know it's good, the next step would be let's make sh to make sure that it's actually centered. And I can see it's leaning that way just a little bit. And so I'll go ahead and tighten up this side just a hair. And next thing you know, this is going to be really tight and pretty much dead center. Okay. So now these side stay lines. Look at how I mean Start, the mast and the boat are now becoming one. You can just see that there's that the mast moves, the, the boat moves, and if the boat moves, the mast moves. So we'll go ahead and do that. And I'm going to detach these now and go ahead and adjust, attach the back stay lines and adjust those now. And you can see obviously it's way off now, but I'll put it back up to about where it belongs and tighten this one up a little, a little bit like this. And the instructions go over this and you can actually see these knots on falconsales.com slash knots. But the, the, the technique for tightening or adjusting these lines are on the install instructions and you can see it in, in detail. Let's go ahead. Now you can see, okay, it's getting close, but it's way off to this side. So I'll go ahead and tighten up the other side. That was probably too much. Yeah, so the, the mast, if, if you look at it from this angle, I can see the mast is back a little bit. Let me walk in front of the camera. But it's almost dead center. So what I'm going to do is loosen them both up just a little bit and that will bring the mast forward a hair okay now you can see it's not precisely accurate but just to save time in the video we'll just go ahead and call it done for right now and then someday come back and get it in, in more detail but I'm going to attach the side stays and the back stays and you can see as I pull the mast up it's very tight it's a nice rigging job basically and I'll go ahead and cleat it off now this could be adjusted in a little bit better but now you can see the mast is really nice and tight here and I might tune it up a little more, make those a little tighter, maybe make these a little tighter, and then it'll be very well done. And in the end, you want to cut all these extra trim, these lines 
you know, take a lighter and just melt the ends of these off because you don't want these lines all over the place. And the same thing for all the lines. All the lines should be cut to, you know, only to be as long as only as long as they have to be. So that's the general idea. But look at the instructions and you'll see how to tune these lines up and you'll have a really solid rig. Okay, I've tuned the li lines uh, precisely now according to the instructions and uh, you can see that as I push the mast up, the side stays engaged, it becomes very tight. Um, I mean really tight, you can see, look at this, so when I grab this with the boat, if I move the mast, it's, it's just one solid piece. Nothing, the, the mast is not going to be jiggling around if you hit the wind gust hits you, the mast isn't going to come down, but between the deck support strut, the patented deck support strut, the universal joint, the, the standing rigging, the proper tuning, it just is solid as a rock. And then you combine that with a carbon fiber mast and you've got something. It's the real thing. It's a proper sail rig. It's solid as a rock. This is your foundation. And now we'll go ahead and put the sail on and you're going to see how the whole thing comes together. Okay, you can see the sail is on. It's installed. The rigging is on. The standing lines are adjusted tight. Our foundation is good. The four stay lines there. The sheet lines here. One other thing, we didn't record this, but I did install a sheet fairly. This is the line that controls the boom. And that's called a sheet. And this is necessary just to pull it to the center of the boat. Pull the boom again. But everything's done. And it's ready to go. It's solid as a rock. You can, it's ready to sail. But this is a proper sail on a kayak, and uh, I'd really love to get out and do some sailing, and I'm sure I will soon. Um, I'll show you how the sail comes down, and we're done. I'll put the sail down, and how you do that is you just go ahead and release the four stay line. The sail falls. I put, okay, the sail's down, and I put the sail down just by releasing the four stay line. And now I'm going to go ahead and fold it. So here we go. We have one crease line here, and then another crease line. And what I like to do is take the boom and roll it up like this. And then use these sail tie downs that I put on. Whoops. This one's kind of tight. And there we go. And this, and I can also put this one on by just going around there. And this sail is on the boat. It's ready to go. You could drive home like this. You could sail only into the wind, uh, or you could say, "Hey, I'm ready to sail again." And you just let the, let the shock cords go, unravel it, pull the forestay line and there you go you sail away and this is your falcon sail solid as a rock